Hey guys, King Tested for you here back with another video. Today as you can see there's a lot of scripts around here. Yeah, because this is my new sandbox type game I announced on Scratch, play Tinecraft, new process. Yeah, and then basically you use the right arrow when you move your you hold down right arrow and move your mouse to make the, the character move. You just click the zombie to kill him. And then you use numbers one to eight, you hold that number and move your mouse around to put blocks in somewhere. So here we have the dark block, redstone, purple block, line block, green block, even sun block, water block, cyan block, and the door. Now you click on them to break them and they do have sounds. And then you basically hit D to go in this door right here. And yeah, there's white, the white dots that are around is where the blocks are hidden when you're not using them. But anyway, you can come up and it's so his name's Ricky. Um, I'm gonna have, I think, oh god, I'm cold. I think when I release, I think soon I might add that feature to where you can have like custom name tags and maybe multi-layer there's going to be a saving feature though guys so don't worry about that. and soon i'm going to also have like a chest up here that you can access and it's going to have like a whole host of fans i'm going to have like press c to open the chest maybe that is when i introduce the survival mode there'll be a chest because obviously and probably when I get more blocks, you know, like tools on and things like that. Because right now there isn't even an inventory. Oh yeah, you exit by pressing E. That's why I did. Probably not going to have E. And yeah, this, there's no time cycle yet. But yeah, let's build a really basic house. We'll use the redstone. We'll use line block. Uses a chimney in a second. This could be our door. But you can't enter these doors yet either. And then we'll have the purple block. It's not too bad to operate, to be honest. We'll have that right here. I'm just going to make an insane house. Oh, I'm going to build one that I made earlier. And move the door to there. Seven. And then like a path here. Alright. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is a really weird house I just decided to make earlier. But yeah, I'm also gonna have the ability to run more than one block. So, oh yeah, I included this dark one. Hey, it's night time. Obviously, you can't destroy any of the terrain, terrain like grass and everything. But at the same time, you do have the blocks that make up the sky and the grass. Even though they're called green blocks and cyan blocks. Which is key 7 and 4. See, it's literally invisible. Which is why I had the ability to kind of move it around like this. So you click and hold the number of the block that you want. And then you use your mouse to kind of make it follow around. And you just click on the block you want to break. And then you press R to go back to this. I think pretty cool design main menu. But yeah. So I'll be back in a second and I'll tell you how many scripts are in this. Alright guys, so there was 49 scripts in total. And also, you want to see my good friend Zombie? Yeah, this guy you can have to use a certain weapon to kill quicker, is what I'm kind of thinking of. But yeah, let's go to kill him. Bye! And yeah, we'll turn into a white dot as well. Because I'm going to have in all sorts of crazy stuff in this game. Make it a bit more like Minecraft, but so far I don't think it's gone too bad. I decided to call it Classic. And as you can see in the top it says Playtime Graph Classic. But yeah, that's about all I had to show you today. It's just the. Uh, Playtime craft, it's called. Just a bit of an update for it, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, this is the 
You can either use right arrow or W ash, that's what it was, wasn't it? Yeah, the right arrow and W squirts to move them. But with the blocks, you have to hold the numbers, there's no other time. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's about what I had to show you. Um, if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.